Welcome back, realvacantland.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property for you. This one is in the woods in Arkansas, backwoods. There's a little road that goes up to it. There's some power lines in the area. This is street view from down the road. It's, it's further up the road. And uh, let's jump into the website. I'll show you this one. And here we go. So this is, uh, I'm asking $699 for this one. It's 0.35 acres, a little bit bigger than lots of the other ones I have for cheaper. And my phone number, name and number is on here. So if you wanna ask questions, uh, feel free to ask away. So here's some pictures, diagram. It's on a little little uh, dirt road. There's a power line that runs along this road. Or yeah, there's a, I mean, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a power line right there. There's another one right here. So I'm sure it's it's running along this road. That's why the road is, is uh, it's got the brush cut back this side of the road because the power line's running down that side of the road. So it's a good sized property. It looks like there's a little dirt trail go to get to the back side of the property and a better dirt, uh, road on the front side of the property and that's the uh, that's the that, you know that's the the dirt roads up there so that's the beginning of the dirt road it probably degrades from there but that's how it starts out it starts out looking like that at the turnoff um, it's named road it's uh, um, Gilbarath Road I think it says I'm not sure that pictures of the right property so here's some more pictures around the area. Yeah, here it is, Gilbarath Road. So it is Gilbarath Road, and it was just it was it wasn't north as north. The picture was angled, <laughs> scratching my head. So Gilbarath Road on that side, and then the the little trail that comes around in the back, Watercrest Court in the back, Watercrest Circle. Um, okay, so let's uh, jump out of that. Let's look at it in the maps, and we'll see more of where we're at. So we're in Sharp County, Arkansas. This is northern Arkansas. A little higher elevations than some of the other properties I've been talking about. We've got uh, a house down here, a house up there, and we're along the road here. If we zoom out some more, we'll see that uh, there's there's some lakes down here. We've got uh, Crown Lake and Diamond Lake, some big bass fishing lakes. We've got Walmart over here at Ash Flat. We've got some groceries over just the other side of that lake. If I could reach about that far, you know, <laughs> well, I'll just move the map over here, then I can reach it. So the, right here, this is Horseshoe. Uh, bend and then there's a little community here with some golf courses and grocery stores, gas stations, um, post office, that kind of stuff. If we zoom out some more, you can see that uh, you know the you know Mississippi River's over here. We're up here in the hills. We're not down in the valley. St. Louis up to the north. Little Rock down to the where is it? Down here. Here's a little rock here. I'm holding a little rock in my hand, <laughs> if you will. So the Missouri, just the north. See all this green stuff on the map behind my head? Like the properties here, green, green, this whole swash of green. This is the um, this is the Ozarks. You know, this is where you've got all kinds of hunting and fishing. And you got streams, lakes, streams, ponds, just nature going off. We got deer, turkey, um, just a lot of a lot of lot to hunt, a lot to explore, a lot to look at, a lot to take pictures, a lot to enjoy, a lot to listen to, smell, see, just be a, be a part of nature. It's a big piece of nature in the middle of the United States that is uh, is sought out from people from the north like to come here in the winter. I mean, get away from the harsher winters. People from the south like to come here in the summer, get away from it, and get away from the hot, uh, muggy stuff in the winter. It's not as muggy. It's a little higher elevation. And so there's, you get an eclectic community. This is like a meeting of the north and the south in the hills here that happens. Some people stay, some people move in and go for it. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for somebody that wants to move into this area, take this property, run with it, go make it their home. Um, so let's jump out of this map. We'll, we're back to the website. It's a checkout link. I just set it up there a minute or two ago. Let's make sure it's working. 699 bucks. asking for your title information, your tax information, your contact information. Clickety-click and hit next. Put your payment information in there and the property's yours. I'll do the paperwork, get it into your name in short order. Um, and there's taxes here somewhere I want to point out. Yeah, $20.42 of taxes. Just really basic, easy taxes. We've got GPS coordinates here to, of an outline of the property. So you can go there and you can figure out where the property is. The GPS coordinates on your phone. we got GPS up here. If you want to click on that, if you're on your phone, go click on that GPS over there and, on the website. And it'll uh, give you driving directions to the property. To get to this website, hit the link in the description of this video. And um, yeah, so we've got Walmart, not very far away, post office, gas station, the basics. 
Got the basics in the neighborhood. $699 for some land in the woods without any neighbors right up in your business. This is Luke Smith, RuralVacantLand.com. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.